dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people. Return to the people. Hey YouTube, G Silvermoney here with the Royal Canadian Mint update. So this might be a first time to see for most people. I just got this in the mail. So it's the upcoming uh, lineup for 2014 and a little bit of the 2013 edition coins from the Royal Canadian Mint. So here we go. I'll just go through this as fast as possible. Some holiday candles, $74.99. A bunch of holiday stuff here for Christmas. So I'm just going to skip through here. Let me try to adjust the camera first. Make it a little bit better. Ah, well, whatever. So these are all about, like this one, 149 bucks, 64.99. But anyways, let's just skip to the meat and potatoes of this. Let's get rid of all these. The wreath looks actually pretty nice, but I'm gonna avoid all these Swarovski crystals for now. So here's the first one that I like, that I might buy. This is a 2013 $5 silver high relief Piet Ford coin. So the 25th anniversary just in another high relief finish. So it's pretty nice. Mintage of 10,000, 99 bucks. And as you can see, the coin looks pretty cool in the picture. So that's a contender for a purchase. Here's fractional gold, four grand, so I'll just skip that. Here's a 5 ouncer, same one that you guys see in my other video, just the 5 ounce edition, but the price is just through the roof, so $549.99. Check this bad boy out. 10 grand 500, 5 kilo, and the, the design on it looks really nice. If I was a wealthy man, I'd most certainly purchase this just because it looks unique and pretty badass, and a 5 kilo coin, that'd be something to rave about. Uh, coat of arms and check these guys out I bought 2013 fractional set might consider this there's only 10,000 not even 9,999 minted 249 bucks and these ones got the gold plating on it so maybe I might sell my old one if I can make a little bit of change on it because I prefer this one it looks a little bit better to me than the 2013 so we'll see how that goes uh, another addition to the bald eagle. I should have got this, but when the first coin came out, it looked like a chicken's head, so I avoided it. But I like it because of the lettering on the edge. That's the first time the mints ever did the edge lettering, so. But I didn't get that series, so I'll probably just stay away from it, seeing that I haven't collected it. Okay, here's what I wanted to talk about. If you guys haven't seen, this is the new 20 for 20 coming out for, uh, this is the Santa for Christmas. But without further ado, let me unveil to you the new 100 for 100 coin from the Royal Canadian Mint. The first one was the Bison, and this is the second one. So here you go. Let me get a good picture. It is a grizzly with a nice, looks like a salmon in its mouth. This one looks pretty damn good. In my opinion, it looks much better than the first one, the, the wood Bison's in motion. 100 bucks. So you guys know now what the next one looks like in the set let me try to get a better view sorry my freaking the lightning and everything's terrible but you get the gist of it so that's the new hundred dollar coin so i might pick up that guy just to add to the hundred dollar set that i got then what else do we got we got some peacekeepers and cypress that one looks all right and some copper nickel and stuff and some of the horses that the mint offers and that's about it so thanks for watching stay tuned and maybe i'll show you some of the superman if nobody's did that yet all right guys cheers have a good one